Hello guys, uh, my name is Epic, and I'm here to ch today to talk about my first episode, and i um, here to talk about video games, mainly it's going to be about Minecraft today, a little bit about um, MW3 and the new Terminal DLC, and, um, <coughs> sorry, uh, Black Ops 2 Zombies. So, today, the um, for my first episode of Minecraft, Xbox 360 edition, um, they came up with a new update a little while back for, um, Shears, um, and, uh, um, right, Pistons, um, and they, um, yeah, and, uh, the, the Pistons and, uh, is good because you can make, like, new puzzle rooms and all that stuff, and, uh, with this new skin pack DLC, uh, it's tons and tons of skins, and it's it's really really cool, guys. There's um there's a little trial version that gives you like a king and a queen, but it's not really worth it. But um, it is not free. The skin pack one, it's like maybe like yeah, it's 240 Microsoft points, guys. Um, you can also go to GameStop and get the um, code for money, but. It uh, includes the king and the queen. Um, there's um, a creeper man, a squid man, a zombie, and hero brine. There is um, s the tr some trial evolution bikers, and then there's like racing driver one, two, three, and four. There's um, coal train and um, that guy with the helmet, um, Calamine, I think it is, um, from Gears of War. And I mean, and, there's and, there's, and also there's um, a locust. There's um, there's also Halo. Um, Master Chief, and, um, a Covenant, and, um, a Grunt, and a Brute, um, it's very cool, and, um, recently, I've noticed that, um, if you go to, um, if you have an Xbox, in the men menu, on one of the, um, screen, in the big screens, um, before you start playing any type of game, you might see one of the slides come forward, and it shows Tony Hawk in some of Arcade, if you click that, and go down to the, um, bottom corner, um, the, you'll see Minecraft, and it's kind of slanted, it's kind of odd, but it's at the right corner, um, not the right corner, sorry, it's in a corner, and, uh, you press it, and, um, there's two options, it's get Minecraft, or get the free, get the skin pack, and it's free, it's called the SOA skin pack, and it's got, um, it's got some games I really don't know much about, but it's very cool, and, uh, yep, that's all the skin packs I've heard about, but, um, recent, yes, um, but, of course, they're going to create a skin pack, too, but I haven't heard any news about it yet. I didn't know that there was a covenant thingy there. Yeah, sorry, that's my cameraman. What's up? Yeah. Anyway, now that's all I've heard about Minecraft, but, oh, sorry, that's all, there's also a new update coming with creative mode, is what I've heard, so, if you're sick of, um, if you're on an island of some sort or a desert, you're sick of trying to get some wood from a nearby tree that's about a mile away you can just use creative mode which is great which is very good I thought it was already on Minecraft though what? I thought creative mode was already on Minecraft <sighs> no. anyway I'm so confused there's four modes to it there's it's peaceful um, oh that yes okay yeah, I see there's no it, it's it's no creative right. mode yet never mind go ahead continue but I, I think that update is going to come at the end of July all right. Guys, I think there might be another thing in that update, but I don't know. I'm waiting. Anyway, I'm sorry about my friend. Now, uh, now, about what I said about we were going to play, um, Terminal. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm to be three. Terminal. So, yeah, everybody, uh, I'm guessing that, um, Infinity Ward and Sludge Every Games realized that everyone loved Terminal so much, and they hated that, um, you wanted to play one of the, one of your favorite maps when there was an, um, another Modern Warfare out. So, they came up with another genius idea to create a Terminal DLC. And they have. And they've done that. And it's great. The only thing I've noticed is that um, I haven't seen any um, teddy bears yet in that. I don't know if they've added anything. But there's have there's one thing that I have noticed um, in the Dreams um, shop that's in the map. Um, it's been replaced by a Kashimura the same um, the same um, nail uh, shop as an Arcaden, so that's different than the Dream Shop, and that's all I've noticed about that. 
Um, don't know if there's anything else. Wait, 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 hold on. You said teddy bears? Teddy bears, yes. There's teddy bears sometimes out of the map. I'm s why are there teddy bears? <sighs> it's, a, it's a thing, okay? It's, All it's, right. It's uh, I'm, I'm not downing Black Ops, but I'm just Speaking saying. of Black Ops, we have um, news about Black Ops 2, especially zombies, which comes with teddy bears to help you out a little bit there, my friend. Oh, yeah, the teddy bears in the boxes, yeah. Yeah, whatever. I, I, I see what you're you doing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stop talking. Okay, so Black Ops 2 news. Um, I have heard from a maybe reliable source that there's going to be an all-out Black Ops 2 Zombies campaign. I really don't believe that too much, but hey, who knows. But um, the, the, I, do, I do believe very much that there's going to be some old characters that we've seen, um, say about five, um, about JFK and his secretary, and um, about the... Um, Characters in Call of the Dead, um, they might be coming back, and and a, one character that I've heard about, Oliver North. Um, I've heard he's a he was a weapons dealer in the 80s, so there might be something involved with that in zombies. I've heard from a very reliable source from that, so we're going to be all about that too. So new characters and old ones, because everyone likes JFK. <laughs> Who doesn't? What? Who doesn't? He's the president. Yeah, he's the president. Everyone loves him. Also, Casher is coming back, too. I'm sorry. Um, yes. God. There's also... Yeah, me too. So, <laughs> so um, another, new, another news on Zombie is that there's going to be... Um, everyone hated about the, the host. There was no ho host migration. I hate when I have to get off my Xbox and I'm host. And even worse, you don't know if you're host. So if you log off the game, it ends for everyone. You lose your scores. But now in Black Ops 2, well, I, actually in MW3, actually, they created host migration, which is great. And so now, um, MW3 is giving Black Ops 2 zombies that host migration, also in multiplayer, I've heard. So if you don't want to lose your scores and if the host host leaves, you can, um, uh, host might be migrated and hopefully you'll be noticed so you know. <laughs> also, is that a, no a lot of people hate it is that you can only have up to four players in zombies, but now I've heard they're going to boost it up to eight, which is great. I've heard from a maybe the same unreliable source is going to be twelve, but I don't know. But another thing I've heard um, for zombies is that the maps are going to be bigger, better, which means there's going to be much more stuff, guys. Much more stuff. And, um, yep, yeah. and that's all I've um, have for you today, and uh, please subscribe and comment. Tell me if I've um, if I should tell anybody else about something. Um, I'm also um, going to try to get the game Trials of Evolution, and I've just realized I've made a mistake. Trials of Evolution. Uh, there's also a couple characters in there, um, and these can pack one in Minecraft. So yeah. So uh, please comment or subscribe. This is my first video ever, ever. So yes, please comment or subscribe. I know I said that a bunch of times, but. Um, Yes. So tell me tell me what I can do and tell me what I can fix. So bye guys.